Okay, Glass, record a video. This is it. We're on in two minutes. This is Google's vision of the future. A pair of glasses that helps you take pictures, send emails, and navigate the world. Instead of that old smartphone. You can't buy them yet, but a few lucky people are using them today. Okay, Glass, record the video. Okay, I'm recording right now. Okay, Glass. Google, nearby parks. Dan McLaughlin and Monica Wilkinson are two technology industry workers in the San Francisco Bay Area. A few of just 8,000 developers Google chose to test and develop new apps for Glass. What do they like most so far? When you get a notification for an email, um, you get a little sound. So I brought up the, the mail program, and I saw that there was a mail. I was able to get the first line. I could see who it was from. And then I used the voice recognition to reply back to it. Uh, it was a mail from my brother. I replied back to him, and the whole thing was completed in, in about 10 seconds. The way it feels doing it is that it's done before you're even thinking about it. So you said uh, on my way to work, we usually walk, and it's like a 20-minute walk. Um, so I check some emails on my walk and, uh, you know, sometimes I make calls, not always. Sometimes I just like, you know, we have a really great view in Patrol Hill of the entire city, so I've been taking some pictures. But while Glass has its pros, its tiny screen brings some cons. I wouldn't write lengthy emails with Glass. When you make the phone calls, you know, the audio isn't great. Basically for me, it feels like the voice is a little too far back. The battery life is not excellent. I would say that's one of their weaker points. Also, Glass doesn't have the libraries of apps available for most smartphones. But developers like Mr. McLaughlin and Ms. Wilkinson are working on that. Another consumer concern? Radiation from Glass's Wi-Fi connection. While the links between radio waves and cancer aren't definitive, a 2011 World Health Organization report did label radio frequency electromagnetic fields as possibly carcinogenic to humans. But users like Mr. McLaughlin are convinced that Google Glass will one day become mainstream. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Glass will take over. Um, the simplicity of it, the usability of it, the, the friendly nature of it, um, I think is, is far better than what you can get with a phone. McLaughlin and the other 8,000 Glass explorers had to dole out $1,500 for their devices. But Google hasn't yet set a release date or price for you the masses who may want these glasses. Okay, class. In San Francisco, California, this is Michael Kofsky.